Hey guys, so welcome back. In this video, we'll be trying to solve the problem valid palindrome on lead code. Okay, so in this question, basically, they'll be giving you a string s. Now, you're supposed to ignore all the non alpha numeric characters in all the spaces and check as to if the string is a palindrome or not. So, I'll say what I mean by that. So, now, say for example, I have a string like this. Okay, say for example, I have s is equal to um, something like okay, let's say I have something like this. Okay. Now you're supposed to check if this is a palindrome or not. Now what you guys will might a thing to do initially is to remove all non-alpha numeric characters, right? So like you might remove all of these somehow and you will check and like you like join all the alpha numeric characters together and you might make the string like R-A-C-E-C-A-R, okay? And after you convert the string S to this form, you might then check if it's a palindrome or not, right? By like comparing the first and last alphabets and so on. However, there is a bit more efficient way to do this. All right. So what we can do is that, let me just erase this. What we can do is that we can give a start pointer and an end pointer. The start pointer, right? As the name suggests, it'll start from the index zero. The end pointer will start at the last index, right? So length of S minus one, right? So now the start uh, pointer will be at R like right in the beginning then the end pointer will also be at this r over here right now the first thing we check is are they alphanumeric yes it is alphanumeric if it is alphanumeric we check if it's same or not it is same right so we won't do anything and we'll go forward with the loop then we'll come across this um, comma here right and we'll check if it's alphanumeric it is not right so again, start will go front. Here again, full stop is not alphanumeric. Then start will again go front. Now start will go to A. A is alphanumeric. Right. Now remember our end is over here, right? Now end is on our question mark. Now question mark is not alphanumeric, right? So we'll move end forward or like, yeah, end will go forward to A. Now over here, both start and end, they are both alphanumeric, right? So we'll check if they're same or not. They are same. We won't do anything. We'll move forward. Okay. In any one of these comparisons, if uh, the elements at start and end are not same, we'll break the loop and say it's not a palindrome. All right. Similarly, we'll come forward, right? We'll come forward. Uh, start will go front. C is an alphanumeric character, so we won't do anything. Similarly, uh, this... Uh, the end will also come to C. It is alphanumeric, right? We'll check if they're same. They are same. We'll move forward. Now start will go to E and end will go to dot. Okay. Now start is an alphanumeric, so it's fine. But dot is not an alphanumeric. So end will go forward again. Now both start and end are same, right? And therefore, this is a valid palindrome because race car, if you see front to back and back to front, it is the same, right? Now that is basically as to how you solve this problem. Now let's try and code the solution out. Okay, so let's start. Start will be zero and end as I said, will be a length of uh, S minus one, right? Now I'll start as less than equal to end. Now over here we check, right? If not S of start dot is alnum, right? Now is alnum function will check as to if it's an alphanumeric or not, and we're doing the not of that. So if it is not an alphanumeric, we'll just move start forward and we'll continue, right? Now we'll do this exact same thing for end as well. So we'll just change this to end and over here it'll be a minus, right? Now you have to check if they are both same or not. Now if s of start is not equal to s of End. We are basically supposed to convert them both to lowercase and check because sometimes they can be uppercase as well. Right. Now, if they are not same, we can immediately return false. Right. Otherwise, what we can do is 
we can move the start forward we can move the start forward and then move the end backward right and that's it now we can just return true if all of these conditions are satisfied let's see and there you go it runs let's submit And there you go, that's how you solve this problem. If you have any doubts, do leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.